Hi, this is Catcomb One here, and welcome back to more Refracted Reality, aka formerly Infinite Void. This was a request from Robert Douglas and my request video. And like I've said, if you would like to make your own request for me to play a mad, feel free to do so. All the guidelines are on that video. And before I start, I need to give a shout to Robert Douglas himself because he because he left me just an absolutely amazing comment on my map one video, which I thank him very much for. I was simply floored, needless to say, at the detail of the comment and enjoyed every moment of reading it and I mean I said it would be cool if I could get a comment and that was beyond cool and is way deserving of a shout but this is map 2 paradigma the, which it was I can't remember his author for sure but it's not the same author who did map 1 so we'll see how it compares to map one. I believe it's longer. I may not I may not get it all done in one video, but let's get started with that. Lost our six skull switches, unite them to reveal a secret, the truth that exists beyond the end, a test for those who have the strength, rip and tell. Okay, so I don't know if that's telling me it's my objective in this level, or if it's a secret in this level, and there's like a secret exit of some kind. As I said, I'm blind. Okay, so the void again is just a teleporter back to where you were. This is played blind on the ultra-violent equivalent difficulty, which is violent eternity. There are eight secrets in this level, so it's possible there's six secret switches. Well, this is a score switch, but I need a yellow score for it. Yeah. I don't think level one used any keys. Map one. Okay, so they do have some indoor structures in this wide, even though it's a void. Map one was completely outdoors. I know I've not finished this level right if I don't find those six four. If I don't find six score switches, then I know I ha I need to do more on this level. Yeah, I figured it's going to be these switches that bring that trap to life. The statue monsters again. There's another scroll switch that I cannot access. Grab my weapon and Okay, I don't think that torch is I suspect that torch is not supposed to be a walk through object. Either that or there's a secret behind it. So I better look since it since I did notice it's a walkthrough, I better see if that particular step is a secret 
and doesn't just dump me in the void. No, it's just a... That's just a void dump. So I'm guessing that's a walkthrough object that shouldn't be a walkthrough object. Oh, that switch is revealed now. So was but that was that one of the six call switches? Okay, that is definitely some green and blue checkerboard or something down there. That'll give me a chain gun. I'm guessing I'm not going to have anywhere to go but into the center. Wait. That needs a yellow skull. Now because this level is by a different order, I don't know if it's going to have that serious Sam gameplay style well you get locked into a position have to fight off the monsters then you can move to the next area you get locked in have to kill everything move to the next area you get locked in until everything's dead move to the next area you get locked in until everything's dead that's what I meant by serious Sam at least first or, and or second count or S gameplay. I did not mean that the theming resembles Serious Sam in this one. But if you've played first or second encounter, you'll you'll know what I mean. You in first and second encounter you get you get locked into areas plenty and plenty and plenty of times you just get locked into an area till everyone's dead then you go to the next area and get locked in until everything's dead and so on and so forth it's like the ultimate in arena shooters although second encounter if I recall does a Pretty good job at making its levels not feel like arenas, which makes it my favorite game in the series. But anyways, we're not talking about this. this isn't supposed to be a review of Serious Sam. So there's a, I can see the void through the floor. That's a void. So that's like a giant Keiko demon on the floor. And another giant Keiko demon. And those arrows are, must be telling me to hit the use key here. Yep. Oh, this is going to be a serious Sam type thing, I'm guessing. The bow's closed. I can't get out. Oh, I probably have to flip that switch. Yep, this is a serious Sam type encounter again where you're just locked in an arena and you probably stay locked in until everything's dead. No, actually it's a blue, it's locked by a blue key, so not exactly serious Sam style because once you have a blue key, you can get out without all the imps being dead. Whoa! That's one of the ouch vials Bell has become not a statue anymore. And they really, they're really trying to, trying to blend in with the environment, aren't they? Yeah, so unlike map one, I've not yet found any whips in this level that close and open based on whether everything dead or not. Feels 
that was map one was with closed valves. Simple switch, closed valves. They open when everything's dead. Go to the next area, simple switch, closed valves. They open again when everything's dead. Simple switch, go to the next area, blah, 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 blah. And that, that's Serious Sam 101. Except the Serious Sam is usually a touch plate and not a switch that triggers the encounter. Okay, so we, the blue and red switches, I'm guessing I, <laughs> nope, I can't open those valves directly. I must use a switch, and I'm guessing one of those statues is going to become harmful. No, I still have two cyber statues. Like that so far, I haven't found instances where I've well, I can't return to an area I've been to before, because that means if those scroll switches are a secret hunt of some kind, I might not have to restart the level to do it. Wait a minute, that looks like a scroll switch behind the super child over there. But it won't let me jump. So map one was a lot about sort of a reddish purple. This level's about yellow and yellowish green. Oh! That was the thing my chain gun out. I do I I'm thinking there is am I supposed to be able to jump through that? Actors are infinitely tall. It's toned off, so no I'm not so I'm not supposed to be able to make that jump at this point. And I see one of the skull switches, so it's really bugging me that I can't make that jump. I can't make that jump either. Can I shoot the scroll switch? Nope, I have to actually get there. So there is still... Oh, well, yeah, it's a green sky. There's sort of a mix of green, yellow, and gold in the level. Whoa! Those are not simple stairs. You have to jump to get back up them. I don't think map 1 actually required jumping at any point. This map may. Again, some of these visuals are just phenomenal. And 
the and all juxtaposed on top of the void theme as well that isn't seen all that often in Doom, although it's been done before, but I don't think it's been done to this extent, like an entire project based on Void. There's the original, there's Null Space from 2001 was probably the first popular Void-like level, then Side Void from 2003, and then Serious Moods Void and Rainbow from 2017. But those all were, those all also got highlighted as windows of top 10 wads for their respective years, but those were all still just single maps. <clears throat> Don't have a lot of risk if I just rocket top him like that. In fact, I'm gonna do some chain gun and say some rockets. That Spider Mastermind is not very effectively a risk to me at this point. This plasma is constantly missing me. That might be something the auto should consider. We just basically just keep shooting him till he's dead. I'm guessing there's supposed to be some that fight is not intended to be cheesable like that. Well, oh no, that's not the void. Keep jumping. See if I can jump my way out. Or nope, I think I'm in an inescapable. Nope, there is a teleporter to escape. So I can claim that I haven't died yet. Oh, nope, I can't make it across. Can I make it across that with strafe? Nope, I'm gonna have to use the switch first. I can't make it across that gap. Whoa! Okay, now here's the dark end. I don't know if it's a time docking or until everything's dead. No, it's a time docking, so... This isn't as serious time Sam styled as the first level seems to be, but... I'm pretty sure you were locked in until everything was dead. But maybe it was on the time on the first level, I don't know. It seemed like it was until everything was dead. So we've got this nice shape we walk up. Again, the plasma isn't very threatening to me. Might want to redesign a little bit of the architecture to make sure the monsters stay threatening. Just some feedback in case the autos see the vid these videos. Okay, crouching is allowed, but it won't let me crouch through that. Mm. 
That needs a yellow skull. So I can't retreat until I get my yellow skull key. Which is over there. Okay. Now, oh. It's getting chained on the... Monk Cuckoo Okay, so the imps are falling out through the holes. That's really cool. The holes are dumped. The holes dumped in time. Now they're dumping revenant. Now those bear ones spawning in the... Okay, this is time. New stuff keeps getting revealed. Plasma gun. I love that master dumb thing. I can't retreat, I can only progress. But I probably do want to make sure everything's dead before I progress. That gold stuff out. No, that gold stuff does not help. So it's the green blood on the floor, kind of. It's the same as the blood, the red blood. The Jib texture, but it's been changed to green, which of course gives it a completely different atmosphere as a texture. Oh. Okay, so the switch is half broken and half visible. On that side. Is that one of the, the skull switches? Because that has the right texture to be a skull switch. Uh oh. But it won't let me use it. It's broken. Broken. Right now, I have nothing to take that that invisibility for yet. This one on the other end is not broken. Uh oh. I should have just taken that invisibility, probably. Let's see if I survive it without invisibility. Probably a case where I want to fall off into the void if I'm in really bad shape. Like, like, oh! I didn't make it out into the void in time. Yeah, that's, that's a teleport disguised as a switch. I'll go ahead and take an invisibility for this fight. That's a secret? You can kind of see it behind the broken switch. I got a deal. Whoa! Into the void. And into the void. Oh, I can quickly teleport back to where I was. Yeah, kill that... 
I found the out vial quickly. You gotta kill the out vial quickly. These ones were central fair love. Oh! Out into the void again. Without the weapon, I should have hovered without having to just, just dump myself in the void. But a big lack of time, not a lack of time. The Spider Mastermind is dead. I'm low enough on health and ammo that I'll give myself that 200, 200. Nope, I can't break the crystal just by shooting a rocket at it. I took the yellow key How? I know something told me I needed a yellow score key. And I saw a yellow score key elsewhere. That's a yellow key How? This is going to be one of those levels of distinguish between the two. Well, after all, if it needs a yellow score key, doesn't that mean it might be a score switch? I am still no one need I don't even have half the kills in this level yet and the kill counter is increasing with as I go into different sides. Okay, yellow switch. Yellow cow switch. Okay, so in this case, I'm guessing I have a mandatory drop into the void because that's going to be my only way out. Yup, it does discriminate between the yellow cow and the yellow squall. Oh, I can't get back there either. So there must be more to do because I need to... I wish I could just fall through that grate somehow. Have a hole? Can I fit beyond one of the diamonds into one of the where the monsters fell in from? Nope. I, I cannot fall in through there. I need to shut out those crystals, if possible, maybe. <laughs> nope, I still just, I can't just blow them up. If I could get rid of those crystals, I could fall back in where the monsters fell, which would be a really cool, by the way. I need to figure out the, but I, those crystals cannot be blocking my way. Oh, no, those holes, different holes for me to fall through. Okay, well that's the that one gives me the mega ammo and a skull. 
Oh, a secret is revealed. I must have found one of the secret skull switches. Okay, I don't know yet well that green teleport though is that was showing on the camera. But I do know that I can get the yellow key and the yellow skull key now. Okay, so those skull switches are secrets it looks like. And there's not one over here. Mm. <coughs> oh, is there? I didn't. What did that switch do? Mm. You still won't let me through here, mm. will you? I don't have enough. Oh! No, I can fall through that hole and to the other side. No, I don't want to just go, come back, get back up. This is a hole I can fall through if I'm close enough to it. Get back into this area. See the. Crystal scrolls are just above me, but then this is blocking my way back as well. So all I can really do is fall back in, but teleport back out. Oh, nope, there's a gap that'll let me back in the area over here. Floor and ceiling gaps, all important. <coughs> okay, so I'm guessing just because that switch doesn't do me anymore, anything anymore. Those teleporters are gonna take me back onto the top. Checking all the wall detail on different sides to see if there's any skull switches. Oops. Well. Might be just the time to use the <coughs> yellow squawk key. <coughs> oh, I don't want that teleport. Oh. <coughs> okay, so I still cannot exit the way I came. I must exit through the center. Oh! Yup, that's gonna be a skull switch. Yup, it's a green teleporter. That's two of the skull switches. Those cyber demons are at work. Oh! The water wall! Can't get out of here with two cyber demons right now. Basically, a giant dog of health that shoots black eggs. 
Okay, I am going to head back because there's more cells I can get. If I can get back. Will let me back into the center way. Yes, it will let me back into the center now. Those bows have lowered. Get more cells. I found two of those six hidden switches. So I'm guessing that is either super secret in the level or perhaps even a secret exit. Either way, I'm not calling this level done till I found all six of them. I have a yellow key. The yellow key operated the skull switch at the very beginning of the level. Not the lost skull switch, mind you, but this one. Which lets me into the other side of where I picked up the blue key. And we've got a gladiator already. with a BFG. See, so we got dead simple with a bunch of weapon hands. Oh no, I need more BFG for those weapon hands. Nothing left to finish the gladiator off but me. Oh! I took a rocket. Maybe this is. This might be an. With how to hit him from this perspective. You might want to watch some of the detailing like this that makes it easy to cheat the man stuff. Can't deny how amazing the visuals are though. And those have been some nice fights. Oh, well, the red cow is on top of one of those pillows. I need to be able to teleport again. Excuse me, just had to mute my mic for a moment. Talk to Dad. I'm gonna have to call this a pout once I find the red key. Hope it's not a soft lock.
Where's the teleport? Oh! The lift! Duh! Okay. The first, the first room like this was to teach me that this texture is a lift. And I didn't use my... I had an invulnerability and didn't use it. Nope, I can't. Oh, I can't get a rocket through the hellfall. Yeah, there's a whole nother section behind the. Uh, that's looking a lot like the section I did behind the blue bows. There's a whole nother section behind the red bows. But I'm out of time for this video. There ought to be a part two for this level. Catch you then and hope you enjoyed watching.